Hello, Adam Watson again, and I'm here to talk about those lovely plickers. This will be part three uh, of the videos that we've done for plickers. Let's review real quick what we've done in parts one and two. Part one, we showed a demo with me in front of the camera, uh, what it was like to scan the different cards to get the responses, and how those results showed up in the live view function, so you could see from that tab um, what the answers were overall as a class and if you wanted to on an individual student basis. In part two, we showed once you're registered and logged into Plickers what these different tabs uh, were about and what information they gave. In this last part three video, this one should be pretty short compared to the other two, I'm just going to show you very quickly how to create a question and uh, in doing so assigning it to one of the classes you've created of uh, rosters of students in your Plickers account. It's really as simple as this. Uh, if you're in the library function and seeing the other questions you've created, you just have to go up here to type your question here. And when you do, by clicking in there, you're automatically going to create either a multiple choice, true, false, that's asking for and ready for the answers. So let's walk through that. If you want a true, false, well, there it is in true, there it is in false, and which one is correct, you would decide and you would save it and generate the question. In multiple choice, make sure the multiple choice is chose. You have these as an option. You could make it just, for example, an A, B, and C instead of A, B, C, and D. Um, or you could add it back. As far as the correct, once again, once you type in the question, you determine which one is the correct one and save it. So let's just create a question very quickly here. Which of the following planets does not have brains. Okay, so let's do that as an answer, that as an answer, that as an answer, that as an answer. And if memory serves, Mars is the only of those four planets that does not have rings around it. Click Save. And you'll see now it's highlighting, okay, here's my question, here's the answers, here's the one that I've said is correct. If I wanted to edit that, I could click on that, edit the question, or even delete it. Expand that back out. Now I'm ready to add it to one of my classes. So if I click here, the only class that's possible right now is my demo class, which is the only, account, uh, only class that I have set up under my account for Plickers. I would choose that. And notice that we have a little matching color here. And now we have yet another question that is able to be asked of the demo class. Um, I have not gotten any responses because I haven't pushed that question out. So notice that there's no dot here. It's over here. Unlike this question, which as I talked about in part two, this is a question that I asked, uh, pushed out, and actually did in the demo for part one. Therefore, I do have responses, and therefore the dots moved over. Once again, remember, you can ask a question and assign it to multiple classes. So as I had more options there as far as classes, I could have added to multiple ones, and then you'd probably have multiple icon or multiple uh, dot colors there indicating, yes, this question is ready to be asked for periods 1, 3, and 5, for example. Uh, and that's really it. So now you know what Plickers looks like. Now you know the back... Uh, part, the behind the curtain part of the account itself, and last but not least, you know how to create your questions. So it's up to you. You are ready to go and create some, some uh, assessments and create some data that you can collect and analyze. One last thing, and I did address this in the part two video, but just to highlight one more time, uh, as of right now, there really isn't an easy way to create a, a, a series of questions that collectively go together, say in some kind of quiz perhaps that you're giving to students. Uh, you're certainly welcome to make 5, 10, or 50 questions if you wanted to. As far as I can tell, there's no limit there. Um, but as far as grouping them underneath uh, some kind of heading or whatnot, uh, I haven't found a way that actually uh, you can do that. So feel free to ask multiple questions and, and assign those multiple questions to the classes, but um, there isn't really a quiz function that groups them together. That said, I hope you enjoyed hearing me talk about Plickers, and I really hope that you try it out in your class. Thanks.